Time now for your forewarned weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. All right, Alana, so either way, whether you like it or you don't like it, it's still happening come um, this weekend. Do I get another hour of sleep this weekend, Emily? <laughs> I think I do, and I'll take You're it. You're all for it. Listen, I'm not here for opinions. I'm just here for the Z's. <laughs> Any working mom knows what I'm talking about. Okay, live view from Blanding, where we have a little bit of cloud cover there at 63 degrees in southeastern Utah. It's a really beautiful Friday in November. Satellite radar shows cloud cover moving through with our northwesterly flow. We did have a shallow cold front, bring in some mixing, cleaning up up our air, which means we will have clean air for the weekend. DEQ forecasting that for the next several days. Live view from West Valley, where the cloud cover is noticeable as we look towards the Wasatch Mountains. We live in a beautiful place. Temperatures are mild out there, even with that cloud cover, and we saw our fair share of sunshine earlier in the day. 50s and 60s right now. Temperatures dropping. 63 in Salt Lake. We were sitting at 66. 57 is our average daytime high for this time of year, so we're above it. 60s on the eastern side of the state. 72 in St. George, 60s and 70s along the I-15 corridor. Wasatch front numbers will fall back into the 50s and by 8 p.m. we hit our average where we're supposed to be for the day. By ABC4 News at 10, we're in the low 50s with seasonal and dry conditions for the overnight and some clearing skies. Let's look at our Saturday setup because we do have moisture moving into the Pacific Northwest. How does that impact the Beehive State? Well, we will see increasing cloud cover in northern and central Utah and as we get later into the evening, you can't rule out a spotty shower the model wants to bring that into central Utah and towards southwestern Wyoming, but the chance is out there. Throughout the day, though, we have quiet conditions with above average temperatures. The Utes are playing, so college football Saturday coming in nice with those 60s, 66 by the close of the game. But notice how cloud cover increases as they take on the Sun Devils in Salt Lake. SUU is also playing. Go Thunderbirds, 50s and 60s during the game for tailgating to the fourth quarter. All in all, a really nice day with dry conditions for your Saturday. But then late into Saturday, the chance of a shower does pop up. That system is grazing northern Utah, which is why our Sunday setup brings the potential of a shower possible as that system kind of moves on through. Futurecast puts that into motion. Here we are at 3 a.m. on Sunday. Notice the clouds and maybe a little bit of moisture. Cache Valley, you could see a shower. But then we also, by Monday morning, start to bring back precipitation. It's an unsettled pattern with subtle weather changes as we make it through the weekend. But as we get into next week, it does look like an uptick in precipitation potential is around the corner. The model kind of loves it Monday into Tuesday. I'm thinking Tuesday into Wednesday. As you look at that precipitation potential, it climbs to isolated showers on Tuesday and kind of holds steady as we get into Wednesday. But it's an unsettled pattern. This is no longer high pressure and control. It's a bit of a change. Temperatures will be really nice for your Saturday. Have I said that enough? Because I feel like you need it. 60s for tomorrow, 67 in Salt Lake. That would be a full 10 degrees above where we should be. 30s and 40s for the overnight. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, depending on the time of day. 60s in our mountain valleys, looking really nice. Mid 60s in Tooele, the Ogden Valley, absolutely great. Mix of 60s in central Utah. Let's look at the south. Washington County, you're looking gorgeous. High friends in the 70s with a little bit of wind as we start next week and cloud cover by Tuesday, cooler air by the middle of the week. What does fallback do for you? Well, if you're an early riser, sunrise on Saturday is just after 8 a.m. By Sunday, it's just 7 a.m. As we look at the sunset, it really changes those shorter days noticeable. 519 will be the sunset on Sunday. I feel like by 6 p.m. I'll be like, oh, got to go to bed. Sorry, that's just how it goes. Why Wasatch front 60s turning into 50s. Cooler air does move in. Veterans Day on the seven day there. So we see a cooling with our temperatures, a little bit of wet weather coming in, but not a major storm system by any means for the next several days. Okay, but did you hear that, Wes? I mean, that's pretty good football weather tonight. It is. I just uh -huh. heard the part about getting when I, extra sleep. As I've gotten older, I just like <laughs> right? We're all in the same like boat. Six, hey, let's get dinner that. on Sunday and we'll call it a night by 7 p.m. 3 o'clock. Done. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Thanks so much, Alana. All right.